Hey y'all, welcome to Rice and Crafts. Um, today I'm gonna make a Christmas card and I know my desk looks like a horrible, frightful mess. And to be honest, it is for the moment. <laughs> but there's a rhyme and reason to my extreme messiness here, okay? Um, the card I'm making today is a different size than I usually would make. I found I had some kind of a kit I had bought apparently at some point and I found these cards and they're like a five by seven and I decided you know what I'm gonna use them um, I bought some digi stamps from La La Land Crafts as you know I've shared some of those and I just printed them like I would normally print a normal digi stamp um, it opens up in the photo part and I select the four three by five or whatever it is that you can print four of and that's usually how I do it except on these they are massive I mean they are well you can tell they're big um, I'm gonna grab a normal size card here and I'll show you that there's just no way to put on, you know, layers and everything on this kind of card and have room for a sentiment and, you know, not have this just totally take over. So what I've done is, like I said, I've got this 5x7 card base and it came in some kind of a kit. I don't, to be honest with you, remember where it came from or how it, I came to possess it. But I have that. And then I have some layers of cardstock here and I've got embossing powder everywhere and that drives me nuts. But I have a white layer for the inside of my card and that is cut at, sorry about the noise here. That is cut at four and a half by six and a half. And I've just, hold on, I gotta clean this up a little bit. It's driving me nuts here. All right. So my white layer is four and a half by six and a half. I've got two red layers, um, and these are four and three quarters by six and three quarters. And as you can see, I started to emboss one of them, and I will continue on with that. And then I used mm, 12 binders no stability is fancy tags three. I used this bottom tag here, and I just cut it and embossed it in red cardstock to match. And then I have my digi stamp here, and this is. Um, like I said, La La Land Crafts. This is Elf Marcy, or Merry Christmas Elf Marcy. I, I don't, I will put her official name on my blog along with, um, more detailed instructions, and I will write the sizes and everything down over there. So, what I have here, I also have this stamp, and I've got to grab my stamp book quick to remember which one it is. Okay, it is, it's one of my new ones, I know that much. Okay, it's the Hero Arts Flourish set with the, it comes with the Sizzix embossing folder, but I'm not using the embossing folder, I'm just using the stamp here. I've got some white, uh, ultra fine embossing powder by Ranger here that I'm using and then I have this super cute adorable um, frame this is a Halloween frame believe it or not it's free on the Cricut craft room this week or was it last week I don't remember I think it I think it might still be there this week but I'll show you I've got several of them cut here in different sizes because like I told you I cut multiples and then file them 
and that's one of those and all I did was cover it with embossing um, I'm sorry Versamark and then emboss that gold embossing powder and then this paper is from Kane Company and it is the designer map pad Doo -doo -doo. what is your name Yule Tide Designer Matte Pad is what it's called. And this is old. I think I bought it last year or maybe two years ago. But it was hanging around and I thought, ah, use it. Get it out of here. So all I did was I drew a line covering my little part here that was cut out, the frame part. And then I just, when I cut it, I freehand cut it just a little bit bigger. And then I started off with some regular adhesive runner and it just wasn't holding it enough so I just took some scotch tape and taped it in some places and it's good to go so let's go ahead and move some of this stuff out of our way and we will get on with the card making here and I might use some uh, pop dots and stuff like that later and I've already gone ahead and done my embossing buddy pad thing and I already like I said did the one part and now I'm just going to ink up my stamp and I'm using my um, Fiskars uh, stamp press it works the best for this and I'm just going to ink it up and kind of line it up the best I can here and I'm okay if it overlaps just a little bit because you're not going to see most of it and you're just going to push and push and push and I'm sorry if the camera is moving but I'm, I'm trying to push really hard because I'm not very good at stamping like this And I'm going to grab some of my embossing powder here. Okay. And then I have one part up here that I didn't get hit with the, end, with the heat gun when I did it before. So I'm just going to go ahead and heat, hit that with some more embossing powder. And so then I'm going to heat it. And I'm going to slide my stamping guy pad out from under. This is the second, actually third time I've tried doing it. The first time I did it with this one, and I really like the way it turned out. It's adorable, except when you put the gold frame over top of it, it's just way, way, way too much. So, I decided I'd go with the white. And that line I'm not too worried about, because like I said, you're not really going to see a whole lot of it. I haven't decided exactly how the frame is going on there yet, but that's kind of the basic idea. All right, and I put everything together so I wouldn't lose anything, and then, oh, there it is. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started putting this card together, and I'm using the Tombow Stamp Runner. And I'm just gonna 
and I probably should have stamped first before I did this part, but I never do that. Okay. And I'm going to grab this one. Okay. And I'm just going to use some ladybug ink here. This is Memento ink. And I forgot to put my stamping pad down here, so let's just hope it turns out okay. And it did. It turned out perfect. Awesome. Love when that happens. And I'm just going to grab my homemade stamp cleaner here. My homemade stamp pad. And this one's really icky, so I'm going to go ahead and wash it twice. Good. All right. Okay. And I think I'm going to grab... I want to add something on the inside here, but I don't know what I want to add, so I guess we'll leave it alone. And I'm going to go ahead and grab my card base here. And I'm going to have to pick this up so I can see. Oops, I found one spot that I need to hit with the heat gun. There we go. Okay. And I think this guy is going to pop up with some pop dots. And just so y'all know, this is probably a card that I would not, I'm not going to mail. That way I can kind of, you know, do what I want. I've got plenty of people that I could hand deliver it to. And I'm thinking that I want it slightly off-centered because I want her to be just slightly off center too. And I probably should have 
put her down first. Go ahead and get her kind of down here how we want it. There we go. And now I'm going to peel all these pop dots off. gonna kind of okay and then this guy hmm. I don't know that we're gonna end up using that it was a cute idea but I think it's just a bit too much so, what I'm going to do is grab this white cardstock, and I'm going to grab some of that ladybug ink again. And I'm just going to stamp that. Grab my paper trimmer here, and I'm just going to do a thin border. scissors here. Alright. Let's go there. Okay. And I think I'm just going to notch out a little banner. Yeah. Oh, they're right here beside me. great at this whole notching banner thing, but that's alright. Okay. And I'm just going to put a little bit of adhesive. Across this top here. Oops. Maybe. not looking like I think it wants to stay too badly and then I'm gonna grab a pop dot and stick it right under this edge here yeah it doesn't want to stay very well so I'm just gonna grab a little bit of score tape here well it's not score tape it's thermal web craft adhesive but it works the same I score tape, but it, I can get it locally. Okay. And I'm 
just going to grab a little piece of the score tape here. Here we go. Now then. There we go. And that's our card for today. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see y'all next time.